By 2029, Tesla could be worth over $8 trillion. Right now, Wall Street analysts are throwing around numbers that sound absolutely insane. We're talking stock prices surging from around 400 bucks per share today to 2,600 bucks per share in just five years. We're talking about a company that might not even be selling cars anymore. We're talking about robots, actual humanoid robots, potentially becoming Tesla's biggest product. But here's what makes that story wild. Every single one of these predictions comes with an equally dramatic downside. This isn't about Tesla doing pretty well or okay, it's all or nothing. I went through the latest financial models from ARK Invest, analyst reports, and the most recent production data. What I found were predictions so extreme, they almost sound like science fiction, but they're backed by real numbers, real timelines, and real money already being bet on these outcomes. In this video, we're breaking down the five wildest predictions about Tesla's future, from stock prices that would make it more valuable than Apple and Microsoft combined, to humanoid robotics that could outnumber humans, to a complete transformation of what Tesla even is as a company. At the end, I'll show you the single reason that determines if these futures actually happen and why even Elon Musk himself calls it extremely challenging but achievable. Let's start with the most jaw-dropping prediction of all, which is all about the stock price. Prediction one, Tesla's stock will hit $2,600 per share by 2029, making it worth over $8 trillion. Ark Invest, led by Kathy Wood, published a detailed forecast that projects Tesla's stock price hitting $2,600 per share by 2029. Let me put that into perspective. That would value Tesla at $8 to $9 trillion depending on their dilution, making it more valuable than Apple, Microsoft, and Google combined. We're talking about a company that made 1.8 million cars becoming potentially the most valuable company in human history. So how do they justify a number that extreme? In 2025, Kathy reaffirmed ARK Invest price target of $2,600 for Tesla by 2029 and maintaining a bull case of 3,100 and a bear case of 2,000. The model uses Monte Carlo simulations with 45 independent variables to generate a range of outcomes. In June 2025, Kathy stated, our prediction in five years is 2,600 and 90% of that valuation comes not from the electric vehicle, but from this robo taxi platform. If you remove the robo taxi business from their model entirely, the price target collapses to around $350 per share. That's the current business, the cars, the energy storage, everything else Tesla does today worth just 350 bucks. Everything above that is a bet on a future that hasn't arrived yet. When Arc made a similar prediction back in 2018, forecasting Tesla would hit $4,000 per share, people laughed, then their stock actually reached that split adjusted level in 2021. So they have precedent, but even Elon Musk himself called this latest target extremely challenging, but achievable. Okay, so that's prediction number one, an $8 trillion company, but it all hinges on robo taxis actually working, which brings us to prediction two, and this one's about what's happening right now. Prediction two, by 2029, robo taxis will generate $10 trillion in global revenue with Tesla capturing a massive share. ARK Invest projects that the global robo-taxi market will hit approximately $10 trillion by 2030, not Tesla's revenue, but the entire addressable market of robo-taxis. To give you context, that's larger than the entire global automotive industry today. This isn't just about replacing cars, it's about replacing car ownership entirely. On the 22nd of June, a day before my birthday, Tesla officially launched its robo-taxi service in Austin. Rides were priced at $4.20 each. Ha, oh, very good, Elon. The initial service operates with safety monitors in the front passenger seat, but this is the beginning of the transition from concept to reality. Tesla isn't just testing in simulation anymore. They're putting real robo-taxis on real roads, collecting invaluable data with every mile driven and rapidly iterating towards full autonomy. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. Arc's research suggests that just 200,000 robotaxis could meet all of urban Austin vehicle miles traveled. You don't need millions of vehicles. You need a much smaller fleet running 24 seven, generating recurring revenue instead of one-time car sales that could service every single mile driven in the wider Austin area. Waymo reported providing more than 250,000 fully autonomous paid rides per week as of April 2025, and independent analysts estimate this has grown to approximately 360,000 rides 
by November 2025. Waymo is now operating without safety drivers in five US cities. One of Tesla's key advantages lies in data collection at scale. Tesla's full self-driving system has accumulated over 6 billion miles as of November 2025, driving approximately 14.4 million miles per day. And let's project Tesla's cost per mile could eventually be 30 to 50% lower than Waymo's due to vertical integration. This remains a projection based on future capabilities. If Tesla can achieve full autonomy at this scale, they could potentially deploy faster and more cost effective than competitors. Prediction three, one million Optimus robots will reproduce annually, eventually reaching 100 million units per year. Elon Musk outlined a production ramp starting with a pilot line in Fremont, California, capable of producing one million units annually, scaling to a 10 million unit per year line at Gigafactory, Texas. He's even suggested future capacity could reach a hundred million dollars or even a billion units per year. For context, the global automotive industry produces around 80 million cars per year. We're talking about potentially producing more robots than cars by a big amount. Elon has stated that Optimus represents a revenue opportunity north of $10 trillion. He said it would eventually account for about 80% of Tesla's total valuation. In September 2025, Musk publicly stated again that 80% of Tesla's future value will come from Optimus and related AI businesses. A lot of independent analysts are more conservative, but still making massive projections. Some are projecting the humanoid robot market could reach $5 to $7 trillion by 2050. Musk is obviously way more bullish than that. Here's where prediction meets reality. Tesla announced an ambitious $20,000 price target for Optimus once mass production begins. During the Q4 2024 earnings call, Elon said that the company aims to produce several thousand units in 2025. Tesla has actually fallen way short, with some reports saying they have built perhaps a few hundred. The initial use case for Optimus will be Tesla's own factories, where internal deployment alone could save an estimated three to four billion dollars in manufacturing costs by 2029. Elon's recently approved compensation package, potentially worth over one trillion dollars, is directly tied to selling one million Optimus robots annually. His personal financial destiny is literally bound to this program succeeding. So we've got stock price predictions that sound impossible, a robo taxi market worth ten trillion dollars and robots that could outnumber humans. But prediction number four is about competition. And honestly, this one might be the most immediately threatening to all of those predictions. Prediction, Tesla energy will grow faster than the car business with virtual power plants becoming a multi-billion dollar revenue stream. While everyone else obsesses over cars and robo taxis, there's a third business line that's already outpacing vehicle growth stationary energy storage. In 2024, Tesla's energy storage revenue surpassed 10 billion with deployments growing 114% year over year, while the automotive business shrank by 1%. In Q1 2025, Tesla's energy storage products grew around 153% compared to the previous year, while vehicle deliveries dropped around 15%. Tesla expects at least 50% growth in energy storage deployments year over year in 2025. The most transformative concept here is the virtual power plants or VPP. Your house or thousands of houses become part of Tesla's next power plant. Grid capacity analysis shows that roughly half of available capacity goes unutilized due to the mismatch between when power is needed versus when power is available. A virtual power plant, VPP, solves this by linking distributed energy resources like Tesla's power walls into a single coordinated network that can support the grid during peak demand, acting like a traditional power plant but without the centralized infrastructure or emissions. This creates another software-based recurring revenue stream. Instead of selling you a power once, Tesla earns ongoing revenue by selling grid services. The South Australia VPP project demonstrates this isn't theoretical, it's operational with over 5,500 housing tenants already participating. South Australia's VPP was the first virtual power plant in Australia to help stabilize frequency levels in the grid, helping with significant events, including a power station trip in Queensland in October 2019 and providing power to Port Lincoln residents during catastrophic fire conditions. The projections for how large the global VPP market varies from 2.6 billion to 3.9 billion in 2025, with strong growth anticipated through the decade. So we've got the stock price moonshot, the robo taxi transformation, the Optimus army, and now an energy business that's already delivering explosive growth. But the final prediction, number five, is the one that actually determines which version of Tesla becomes real. 
Prediction five, Tesla will become the first company ever to hit a $8.5 trillion market cap while hitting five separate impossible milestones at once. Here's something most people don't realize. Elon Musk's recently approved compensation package, potentially worth over $1 trillion, is directly tied to moonshot goals that include achieving an $8.5 trillion market capitalization. To put that into perspective, that's larger than the current market caps of any single company on earth, including Nvidia, which has been floating around $5 trillion, and approaches the combined value of three major tech giants, Apple, Microsoft, and Google. But it's not just about hitting a stock price, the compensation plan unlocks in tranches, and each tranche requires hitting specific mind-bending targets. According to the briefing documents, to unlock the full reward, Tesla must achieve several simultaneous goals. $400 billion in profits, 20 million cars sold in total, 1 million Optimus robots deployed, and 1 million robot taxis in operation. Every single prediction we've talked about, the robot taxis, the Optimus production, the energy growth, they're all baked into Musk's personal compensation plan. This is a signal about what Tesla is actually trying to become. The compensation package essentially says, we're not measuring success by normal automotive metrics anymore. We're measuring it by whether we built a multi-trillion dollar AI and robotics empire that happens to also make cars. In September, Elon publicly stated that 80% of Tesla's future value will come from Optimus and related AI businesses. The sheer ambition here is staggering. To reach $400 billion in profits, Tesla needs to generate more profit than the entire current automotive industry combined, which is forecast at roughly $250 billion globally for 2025. So that's the final prediction. Tesla isn't just trying to become a successful company, it's trying to achieve metrics that have never been achieved by any company in history, with Elon Musk's personal wealth potentially reaching $1 trillion. YouTube isn't just entertainment, it's one of the best client acquisition tools because it builds trust at scale. We've helped businesses grow from scratch to a $100,000 a month just by launching them a YouTube channel. Book a call with me below and let's see how YouTube could help your business scale.